in this forecast. Severe weather and flooding will be possible across the East Coast today. A major pattern change is coming next week that could bring some really cold air to the Northern Plains. All of that and more is coming right up. Let's first begin with that severe weather potential for today. There is actually a marginal threat of severe weather across 40 million people today. It ranges from southern New York all the way back down through areas like North Carolina. The main concerns today will be damaging winds, potentially up to 65 miles per hour, maybe a little bit of isolated quarter to half dollar sized hail. But maybe the more concerning part of all this is that there might be a couple of tornadoes. We have a strengthening low level jet heading off to the east. That could very well open the doors potentially for maybe a couple of of brief and weak tornadoes across this large area later this afternoon. Now, what do I mean by a strengthening low-level jet? What I'm basically talking about is the mid-level winds. You can see our low-pressure system, our trough, back out to the west. That has actually brought some flooding rains to areas in the Midwest and as well as Michigan. But the big story now is that there might be some severe weather along with the potential for maybe some isolated to widely scattered flash flooding later this afternoon. But there's your trough back out to the west. Eventually going into this afternoon, we will begin to see a little bit of an increase to the low-level jet that may be able to bring potentially a couple of brief and weak tornadoes across this region later this afternoon as well as i mentioned before here's a look at the timing let's go from south to north first we'll begin with north carolina and virginia by about four to five o'clock we'll begin to see some showers and storms begin to develop you can see the strongest storms really forming back out near charlottesville back near washington dc for example all the way back down even through raleigh eventually going closer to about eight nine o'clock tonight we'll begin to see those storms shift off to the east they will eventually go towards areas like maryland and as well as even delaware and eventually towards the east coast and eventually by about 11 to 12 o'clock a lot of that storm activity will weaken after sunset Heading a little further off to the north near Washington, D.C. and northern Virginia, we'll begin to see some storms fire up earlier this afternoon near Winchester and just west of Washington, D.C. Eventually going closer about 5 to 6 o'clock tonight, those storms will march out to the east. Not very quickly, though, so that might bring the concern for some isolated flash flooding if more storms develop on top of each other. Eventually going closer to 6 to 7 o'clock, you get the severe storms potentially rolling through areas like Washington, D.C., through areas in southern Pennsylvania as well near York. Eventually Eventually by 9 to 10 o'clock, those storms will be marching out near Dover as well as Salisbury. Eventually moving off to the east, the storms will weaken as they approach the coastline. But overall, there may be an upgrade to the severe weather potential up to maybe a slight risk if enough confidence builds. But there will definitely be a potential for some severe weather, especially across this area. That would probably be the bullseye for this afternoon for some isolated to maybe widely scattered severe weather. Here's a look at the timing back up near Pennsylvania. We'll see some storms fire up later this afternoon, probably between 2 to 5 o'clock. Eventually going into the evening hours, we'll have storms moving off to the east the best chance for severe weather does appear to be probably eastern pennsylvania this afternoon and eventually going closer to the midnight hours we'll start to see storms continue to move off to the east there may again be some additional rainfall totals that might bring some flash flooding to areas that typically see it talking about low level areas and as well as creeks that might be already overflowing now what does this mean for rainfall totals across this region well most areas especially pennsylvania new york will probably be our best chances for maybe some isolated flash flooding rainfall totals are forecasted to rain from basically zero inches of rain all the way back up maybe closer to three to four inches in some isolated locations so not extreme flooding by any means but there might be some isolated flooding in areas especially in low-lying areas across this region now there will be another chance for severe weather tomorrow that will include a large portion of new england the only exclusion to that will be most of maine it will go from southern maine all the way back down through long island even into portions of new york will have a potential for some severe weather the main concerns tomorrow will be damaging winds isolated large hail and the potential for maybe a brief or weak tornado or two the tornado potential will likely be down in this region that would be basically southern new england and areas like massachusetts connecticut and rhode island potentially with an isolated brief tornado or two and here's a look at the timing for tomorrow you can begin to see some showers and storms beginning to enter southwestern new england near connecticut going into the morning hours eventually by about nine to ten o'clock we'll see some showers and storms still ongoing the strongest and potentially the most severe storms will begin to develop in the afternoon since this is likely going to be a slow moving batch of rain we very well could see some isolated flash flooding across areas in southern new england again that would include areas like springfield hartford and maybe uh, worcester and eventually going through boston eventually by about two to three o'clock storms will again continue to move off to the east we very well could see again a brief occurrence of an isolated tornado in this region especially across southeastern new england eventually going into the evening hours we'll still see some scattered showers and maybe an isolated rumble of thunder but most of the severe weather will likely occur in the early 
early afternoon hours. Here's a look at northern New England. It's a bit of a different story here. The storms will primarily occur during the late evening and overnight hours. You can see closer to 10 o'clock, we'll see some strong storms. Main concern up this direction will definitely be just isolated damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. Eventually going to the overnight hours, all that rain will quickly shift off to the north and northeast and eventually going into Wednesday morning, we'll see some scattered showers in areas like northern Vermont and northern New Hampshire, but none of that will be anything to accumulate to flooding or severe weather. Now looking at the overall temperatures as of right now, we have a big area of cooler air that's going to continue to move off to the east and northeast from the trough that is currently ongoing and moving towards New England. We'll see a nice little cold blast come into northern and central New England going into later this week that'll bring highs down to the 50s and 60s. But going to next week, there's some signs that we might see our first big blast of cold air. What does this mean? Well, temperatures might drop anywhere from the upper 40s through the 50s and 60s for high temperatures. This will be an area to watch for very closely next week. Again, we'll keep you updated with the latest and everything that you need to know. Make sure to like button down below. Subscribe if you're not already. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting and All Dense Repair.